putting Europe back on track is the theme of the European Business Summit uh, this year. What do you hope will come out of the summit? Well, I hope that uh, some concrete ideas, measures and decisions can come out of it. Of course, we are not here to take political decisions, but at least with the business community to say what we want. What we want for SMEs, what we want for innovation, what we want for the growth potential of Europe, what we want for skills. A lot of issues to put Europe back on track. And I think we are recovering in the economy. The question now, can we increase the speed, can we go faster, and that is the message. There were some very encouraging industrial production figures for Europe uh, out earlier this week, uh, increases of 20%. Would it be fair to say that Europe is back on track, or is there more that needs to be done? Well, some companies are really back on track. Some companies are doing well. You know, when you are as Germany, but Germany not alone, Denmark, Austria, the Netherlands, uh, champions in exports, that means that uh, they are competitive, they are on track, and they are on track because other parts of the world are growing faster than we do. Now, the question is how can we, and for business Europe, very easy to mention, difficult to, to do, how we can double the growth potential of Europe. If we go from 1% growth, we are there in 2010, to 2% over the two, two coming years, uh, you will create 6.5 million jobs and you will reduce the debt by 450 billion euros. So that is the issue, that's the challenge. And uh, it's not here that uh, that will be decided, but I think what the business will say to the 11 commissioners who will be here, that's precisely the message. 11 commissioners, also Jose Manuel Barroso, the European Commission President and European Council President Herman von Rompuy here later today. If you are saying as business we need an environment in which we can increase GDP, in which we can increase economic growth, while the, the politicians in Europe are talking about cutting government deficits, w w what would you want them to do actually? Well, we want them to make sure that the public finances are sound because uh, you have to cut deficits but you have to do it in a smart way uh, and you can perfectly do it without hampering the growth potential of the European Union and that is the message the second message is you have a strategy for 2020 uh, do it now don't wait for the end of the period start now because there is an urgent need to do this uh, and thirdly concentrate your efforts on everything that can help companies to deploy their activities, to grow, and then, of course, to create jobs. Because, after all, it's about industrial, economical activities, and it's about jobs. Europe 2020, the successor to the Lisbon strategy, which did not really work out as it was supposed to do, what can you, as, as representative of European business, uh, tell European politicians uh, in order to make them more keen on achieving economic innovation? I would say it's now or never. Take the lessons from the failure or the semi-failure of the Lisbon strategy. Don't do it again the same way. So you have to change something. And there we are hopeful that somebody as Herman van Rompuy was keen to move on uh, to put pressure Pressure in order to secure the euro. Pressure in order to secure the financial system. Pressure in order to push the countries, on the one hand, to uh, consolidate their public finances, but on the other hand, to reform. Reform in the labor markets, in the education system, in research and development, and in many other areas. The, the single market also is a challenge. That can be decided at the European level, must be implemented at the national level. So the Council has a lot of things to do, and this is a political challenge for them, but they have to take that decision and to do it right now. That sounds very much like a message to the Belgian presidency. It's, uh, of course, a message to the Bre Belgian presidency. It's a key presidency now. Hmm? They start with... Uh, 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 let's say, the, the euro uh, measures and, uh, and, and the 2020 strategy, it's true. Uh, and they can put the urgent pressure on their colleagues 
I hope they will be able to do that. And Herman Van Rompuy, but also President Barroso can play a role. And for the Commission, I think this is a fantastic opportunity to show the strength. Uh, the European system works if the Commission is strong. So the President of the Commission, but all the Commissions have to be strong on the issue, not to start all kinds of initiatives, but to concentrate the efforts where you create the growth potential for Europe. Mr. Burke, thank you very much.